And welcome back to Breakfast Television on City TV. Thank you for choosing us this morning. Some of the best water sport athletes in North America are going to be in the Calgary area this weekend for the Canadian Water Ski Western Championships. And that's where our next two guests come in. Sean Krause, the far end of the couch, is from Calgary. Uh, Dorian Llewellyn has family connections to the Innisfail area here in Alberta. Both these guys are uh, doing really well in their sports right now. And we should we'll start with Sean, because Sean, you uh, are going to be heading overseas. Tell yeah. us about this. So you're part of Team Canada now. Yeah, so I'm on the junior national team, and we all leave for Spain on Friday to go, yeah, go compete. So there. Spain on Friday, and which event is it happening in Spain? Uh, we are competing in all three events, Solemn Trick and Jump. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I'm super excited to go. And so this is against athletes that are internationally? Yeah, so like Argentina, Chile, yeah. Mexico, uh, Spain. Yes, yeah, the Junior World Championship. The Junior so World Championship. It's a really big deal, especially oh, yeah. for all these young kids. That That's are, amazing. Yeah, well, yeah. good for you. Congratulations. Goes to the Windsport uh, National Sports School, right? Yeah. So you're doing your studying kind of on the road as you compete in yeah. all the various events. And uh, Dorian, who's closest to me, um, you're here competing this weekend at, at the uh, Predator Bay, just south of Calgary, off Dunbow Road. And you're trying to set a record with a family connection too, right? Yeah, it definitely has a family connection. So... Um, I have no problem bragging about how awesome my dad is. My yeah. dad is basically the Wayne Gretzky of water skiing. Nice. He uh, has more medals in Pan Am Games history than any other athlete in the history of Canada. Wow. Yeah. So he's held the Canadian trick record now for the last 14 years. And uh, over the last couple of years, I've been thinking about it more and more. And this is the year where I'm, I'm really trying to push it to, you know, break that record. And actually, I, I've set up my trick run so that I could hopefully tie it. I okay. think that'd be really cool. And then at some point later down the road, I might take it from them. But All we'll right. See. So here you are, Dorian. We pulled this off of YouTube uh, yesterday behind the boat. And this is, is this slalom skiing? Or is yes. The, yeah, this is slalom. This is not the trick event, right? No, it's not. Actually. Okay. What, well, what's it like when you're, like, do you find it peaceful when you're on the ski? Like, what, what's going through your head? Oh, this is actually a trick event right here. Oh, here we um, go. Okay. Yeah, but it, it's, it's got a mixture of both, which is why I think it's so awesome. At times when you're tricking just like this shot right here, just yeah. going around a turn and, you know, it's, it's really peaceful and the water's calm and, you know, the, but there's also times like that in slalom where when you turn and you go through the wakes, you're going 60, 70 miles an hour. The boat's going 36, <laughs> but as you're swinging behind the boat, that pendulum effect, that it just gets you going so fast. Whips you across. The adrenaline right? is the other part of the sport that yeah. I love so much. Nice, nice. Okay, and, and Sean, we have video of you as well doing the uh, kind of a slalom. This was now. This is just outside of Edmonton last week, right? Yeah. This is. Yeah. This and what's going through your mind? Because the water. I mean, when Dorian was skiing, it was kind of a little bit choppy. But this is just like glass. Uh, this looks so peaceful. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it definitely is like um, peaceful. It's nice to like. You can just go out there and think about whatever you want, or you can go out and do exactly what you want. You can, yeah, and so we should mention, too, so uh, Jared Llewellyn, uh, Dorian's dad, is also coaching you, right, Sean? Yeah. <laughs> so it's neat that you, do you, so do you guys train together all the time type thing, or? Yeah, he comes yeah. down to my place down in Florida a bit. Nice. Um, yeah, so my dad's from Innisfil, but Florida, you can't beat Florida for the weather for skiing, for yeah. water skiing, for sure. Makes um, sense. Yeah, we can just ski year round, so that's why Florida's really become the hub of professional water skiing. Half the time our lakes are frozen here. Exactly, right? yeah, yeah, it's exactly. a bit tough. It's much like golfers. You're not going to stay in Canada to practice <laughs> exactly, your golf. Exactly. You have to go somewhere where the courses are open. Yeah. Do you have any goals, Sean, when you're going to be in Spain next week? Do you uh, have any goals you're shooting for? I would love to make top 20, okay. uh, for sure, or possibly the finals in Seoul. If I could do that, it would be a great goal. I think I could definitely push to make that well good luck when yeah. you're heading overseas and dorian how about you this weekend the trick record yeah that's the biggest goal right yeah, the trick record um going back to sean i'm sure that the canadian team we're always we're always up there in the top three for the yeah. team event so everybody's scores are going to be coming together hopefully bring back that gold but uh yeah for me this weekend you know this is just another ranking tournament another <laughs> way to represent canada here at home and you know, to hang out with friends and family, which that's what water skiing is all about. Nice, yeah. nice. Well, best of luck to both you guys, and thank you so much for coming in. Water sports, and just a, a brief, so there's the slalom event for people, there's a yep. trick event, and what's the third one? The third event is jump. Which, jump? Yeah. Okay. That, that's a not, you can't miss that one. <laughs> um, actually, last weekend at, at, uh, at Shalom Park, we, yeah. we had a pro event, and guys are going 200, 220 feet, 230 yeah. so feet. So how many so. seconds are you in the air then? Uh, almost three seconds. Really? Yeah. Ryan Dodd, actually Alberta native, he uh, he set the world record last year of 254 feet, 
and he said it was the coolest feeling ever. That he was in the air for more than three seconds. So there you, you know go. you can't beat the feeling of flying. Well, thank you guys for coming, and best of luck. Safe travels overseas, and safe safe travels for you as well between thank your you. events and that type of thing in Predator Bay, just south of Calgary off Dunbow Road. Look for that event starting this Friday here in Calgary.